Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. Across our province, there are organizations called Communities for Kids. These are regional volunteer committees that fundraise for BC Children's Hospital. With me now is Coraline McNulty from the bustling Communities for Kids in Vanderhoof. And joining her is Shiler, Dawson, Damien, and Carol. What kind of fundraising events did the Vanderhoof Communities for Kids undertake this last year and how did they turn out for you? We had three um, fundraisers. One was Jean's Day and a supper auction and then we do a festival of lights at Christmas and all three were very supported. Coraline, why is it important for communities to be involved in fundraising? Um, it's Specie Children's Hospital is where miracles take place. My son Dawson here, um, BC Children's Hospital saved him and we're very thankful for that. Let's see how much the Vanderhoof Communities for Kids raised this past year. I can see you're very passionate, Coraline. Uh, 64,336 and 37 cents. Well, there you have it. Another community for kids making a difference in the lives of BC's children. From Prince George, I'm Katherine Hansen. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Jogan Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with, um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asked the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born, it was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home, and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment. So I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been, all right. We gotta check out the big total. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero, zero eight, eight. It's a confetti storm. Thank it's you very much, British.
Columbia. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much. Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play, through grateful lies, you can hear them say. Happen